The following podcast contains adult language, profound stupidity, hardcore nudity, and drug references. Children should not listen to it. Everyone else but fucking Olive. Nailed it. Hey everyone and welcome to Plotty Time, the podcast where we three gamers discuss video game stories in detail with all the necessary and appropriate backlash. My name is Papa Scotch and with me as always is Chump Slap. Hello. And on the other side of the table, Dr. Scientist. What's a casual shoe for yachting? <laughs> what Luker. is a blooker? <laughs> Who uh, killed Jesus Christ? <laughs> all right. So we yeah. have... <laughs> Special treat for y'all today. We are doing a very special episode. Kind of, we'll uh, we'll let our brand new guest discuss it with us this week. Is Vinny from the Retro Grab Bag Show on YouTube? That's me. Do you have a, a fancy quote for us while you do it? Ah, uh, no. Okay, I, great. I am totally yeah. unprepared. <laughs> Join the club. So is <laughs> jump slap. So <laughs> here we are. So uh, let's get into our normal bits while we're at it. Uh, Chump Slap, what'd you do this week? What are you playing? What are you watching? What's going on? I watched a couple of Marvel movies, some type of Spider-Man thing. <laughs> oh, wow. And, <laughs> Far from home. And the one where a guy dies at the end. <laughs> oh, that's, those are good ones. Yeah. These are all Marvel movies? <laughs> Is it part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Or yeah, it was the new... Are they was branching that a spoiler? Out? Is that why you didn't say who died at the end? Yeah. Okay. Or which movie? Or anything about any yep. of these? <laughs> Spider-Man Far From Home? Yeah, yes, I saw that one. And They're I the saw... same movie he was describing, actually. <sighs> yeah. Oh, that was just one of them. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm, I misheard. Okay. And then I saw, I don't know, one of the Avengers ones, I guess? Yeah. Uh, the last like one? the last one, yeah. That, that might have been I think the last Marvel movie, actually. End Times? <laughs> end of Days or something like that? End Game. Oh, like Advent- Highlander End Game. Exactly. That was good. Highlander End Game. <laughs> the Avengers Jurassic Park, is that what it's called? <laughs> I'm pretty sure the Highlander is in both universes. The Highlander oh, yeah. universe and the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah. He transcends universes. Does yep. Disney own Highlander? Well, we got our first yeah, thing yeah. to look up today. Of course he does. Of course nobody he does. owns. Yeah. Nobody Who owns the Highlander. Disney owns Sony? this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Yeah. I for one embrace our. Is just keeping the money. Mickey Mouse overlord. <laughs> yeah, Mickey Mouse is dope. Dope AF. Let us be on the record that if when Disney buys <laughs> Podbean or whoever actually owns this, <laughs> we've been supporters since the beginning. Always. Please give us money. Anyway. I love the song of the South. <laughs> did, you, did you play anything or we're just going to skip over that? Uh, yeah, I played a little thing I like to call work. That's Ooh. awesome. Was it good? It sucked. Is that, is that Sega or, I or Nintendo? I don't know. Uh, it's like virtual reality. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I don't want to play it. It's all right. <laughs> so it's like fully rendered 3D. Yeah. Okay. Sweet it's that it gets good. a little repetitive, <laughs> but by the end, well, I hope to be at the end soon. <laughs> <laughs> How many How hours? Many hours you got yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ooh, I put in about 40 a week. <laughs> oh my god! You got to pick up a strategy guide for that. Yeah, I know. That's like a I second pick, job. I know. It's like I'm just. Going in circles in this game. I don't know what the fuck to do. <laughs> At least they pay you for it. <laughs> oh, shit. Jesus. Okay. Well, let's move on then to Dr. Scientist. Playing, watching. What have you been doing? Not much. I started playing uh, The Last Guardian last night. I don't really like it. I don't think I'm going to finish it. Well, you gave it a lot of time, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I played it for like half an hour, and then I got to a part where I was stuck and couldn't figure out what to do. And I was like... I walked around on his, in his room for about 45 minutes looking at the wall. And oh. stuff. Like, yeah, you don't want to. You got to put it away for a minute, come back to it. It'll come right to you. I deleted it already. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Already. All right. So you're, you're definitely not going back to it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's not thinking about it. <laughs> gotcha. So apparently, I know we were all waiting in bated breath for this answer, but Lionsgate owns the Highlander series. Okay. And Lionsgate themselves are a publicly traded company. So I don't Disney bo- probably owns them. Not mm. yet. Soon. I'm pretty sure that's what that means. They have to. Any day now. Yeah. Who owns the Queen song? The Queen's song? For the Queen song. Hail for... to the Chief? No. The Queen song from Highlander. Oh. The intro song. Yes. Whoever. Uh, was it, it made for the movie? I am That's immortal. Right. <laughs> I have inside <laughs> me blood of kings. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that 
is so well, great. This is going great. That's a great uh, song. Oh, my God. <laughs> what about you, Vinny? What have you been playing lately, watching? Anything you want to talk about? You're uh, the special guest today. The last game I played was, uh, well, we, I finally got a Super Game Boy. Like, I never had one of those. And I played a shit ton of Game Boy as a kid. So I hooked up, uh, like, Donkey Kong Land 2, which was, like, Game Boy's version of, you know, Donkey Kong Country. Yeah. Which is fucking great, by the way. But, uh, yeah, that would be the last game I played. A lot of running around, doing stuff. Family uh, stuff. Yeah. Did you play the Resident Evil 2 remake? Yes. Yes, what do I you did. think of that? It I, was I pretty did. good. Yeah, it's awesome. It was pretty great. Yep. That would be the last, like, modern game I probably played. Hmm? Put your face closer. <laughs> oh, I see. I thought I said your name. <laughs> I think so you, you also did. Oh, really? I don't, no, know. I don't, I don't think, think I did. did. I don't think I did. He just looked at you. That's all right. Yeah, he's all in his head not to say it. Oh yeah, I'm <laughs> totally jacked up over that. You, you gotta, guy, like, you gotta eat the mic. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, thank well, well. you. Did you know there's a third? They're doing it for the third one now. I do now. <laughs> uh, I need to go back and play that one originally. The original? Yes. Version? I don't think it's as good as we really think it is. What? Resident Evil 2, the original? No, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Nemesis. Oh. I need to go back and play Nemesis. Yeah. I don't remember anything about that game at all, except the, f- the existence of Nemesis. Yeah, I was going to say, I remember okay. Nemesis. And him, like, didn't he follow you around, like, through the halls, like, in Resident Evil 2? Uh, or am I thinking of Resident Evil 2? You might be thinking of that, too. Fuck yeah, me. because there was a, a tyrant that followed you around. I, I like the old game. I like the old game a lot. I remember I liked it when I played it. Oh, are you trying to play it now? That's the thing. It's garbage now? <laughs> no, I mean, oh. getting used to What are you saying? The, <laughs> the controls, the tank controls, oh, like yeah. going back and seeing the PlayStation yeah. 1 graphics, well, like that's a little... Exactly, yeah. Mm. We, we I, are very I know. happy with retro games. Mm-hmm. Of course, we don't want to offend you being the host. <laughs> one of the oh, no, hosts of the retro, retro game show. But uh, retro grab bag show, sorry. Right. But, Get it uh, right. We have... That's the grab ass show, thank you. The grab ass. <laughs> <laughs> We've kind of come to the conclusion that the PlayStation 1 era is rough to replay. Yeah. Just I because could, the, absolutely. The graphics yeah. were rough and the mm-hmm. tank controls like this. Static cameras. Static cameras. Oh, yeah. so like, some of those platform games with the cameras, are, well, all, they could be all over the place too. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, that, that's early Spyro. Like that. Yeah, how, exactly. Yeah. Will you move the whole world around the character and it feels very, <laughs> very weird? Some yeah. of those were good. Oh, yeah, great. Some but of them, no. <laughs> I don't ever want to play some of them again. <laughs> no. <laughs> For that reason. Yeah. Well, they redid that Spyro stuff. Yeah. And I, Did I the Ignited Trilogy? Yeah. Like yeah. That was recently, right? Yeah. yeah. It's good. It's, it's awesome. Yep. Hmm. Never played it. But it doesn't enough. look like that PlayStation yeah. version at all. Because it was, you're right, it was crap. It yeah. was complete junk. That was a very weird transitionary period for games. Everything was doing like the Super, uh, the, the Mario 64 yeah. platformer. Mm-hmm. Everything. They even did like a Donkey Kong for that too. And like, it's like, that's not Donkey Kong. I'm treating, <laughs> yeah, it's not. Yeah. You're you know? throwing barrels at a guy? Yeah, why are you trying to find stuff? <laughs> like, you should be running around, uh, you know, de- 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 defeating enemies. Yeah, it's Oh, ridiculous. and remember, like, sports games were making the transition to 3D. So they were super wonky and weird and oh, different. Yeah. And you had to figure yeah. out how to play, like, triple play baseball 99. <laughs> <laughs> Did I play the shit With Tony Gwynn on the cover. Was it Tony? Was yeah, it? I have it. Wait, you question it? I swear to God. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No. <laughs> Which year had Luis Gonzalez on the cover? Because that's when I played. Oh, good. I don't know. 2003. <laughs> Let's look it up. <laughs> look that up. I, I'm not sure. If Tony I played was a whole 152 that. game season, 162 game season. I went 158 awesome. and four. That's awesome. It was good. Were you the Red Sox? No, I took the Pirates to the championship. Oh wow. The well, someone, Butt Pirates. Absolutely yeah. miracle. <laughs> <laughs> I was their ace pitcher. I went like 36 and 0. I had to have won the Cy Young. Unreal. <laughs> Unreal. Uh, it is Triple Play 2002. Oh. That was that the one? Yeah, probably. The one that you were up on the high horse about. Yeah. <laughs> Talked about Luis it for Gonzalez years. On the cover. Talked about it for it years. It sure did. It was for Xbox and <laughs> PlayStation 1. <laughs> He's still talking about it. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, here's here. What team was he on at that time? Diamondbacks. Damn. Nice. Of course they he just knows won that. the World Series. Nice. You can get. Yeah. I I found this on shop.com. Great website. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a scam. I don't know. Send us but money. <laughs> it, it has a an autographed cover from the Xbox of by Luis Gonzalez of Triple Play 2002. Is it opened? Guess how much it is. Let's play this game. Seventy six dollars. Yeah, I'd say like uh, like ninety something. I would say twenty five. Sixty one dollars. Oh. oh. All right. Oh. All right. So you win. Here's my debit card. Get that. (laughs) It had been marked down at least once, by the way. God, I need that. Is it numbered? 
<laughs> is it like yeah. I don't think so. It's just uh, signed. Forget it, then. That's junk. <laughs> I could have signed that. <laughs> it comes with the certificate of authenticity, so you know it's legit. The absolute trash. Who signed the certificate? Tony Gwynn. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Baseball. What yeah. is... Kevin Costner. Christ. What about what? What have you been watching? Remember, we're still in this. Segment. Oh man. <laughs> I was just about to ask you. <laughs> what yeah. did I? Oh, I saw Joker. I said uh, really good. I thought it was good. Maybe the beginning was a little slow for some, <laughs> for some people. Some people. Um, still good. Still no, good. No, it's still good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, TV. Oh. oh, fucking the Mandalorian. It, it's oh, yeah. happened. I have not gotten to it yet. It's really good. Good stuff. I think. Yeah, I mean, you'll probably see this online too, but it's probably what. We wanted Star Wars to be for all the while. I remember. Uh, well, I didn't remember. Fantastic. But people were talking about it, and I usually, if something in Star Wars isn't great, the internet's on top of that mm-hmm. and, and <laughs> saying all kinds of shit. And with right the Mandalorian, away. I just don't hear anything. Maybe yeah, they're so waiting like, for maybe people actually it's, like this. It's really, really, really good. Yeah, I'm, I'm very. Happy Is the about season that. over? Actually, a new episode today. Came out. Well, what, so they're not doing the dump them oh. all on streaming. They're doing no, and I don't think anyone's doing that anymore besides Netflix. Because even like Hulu and all that stuff, like like Castle Rock season two when, when that was coming out, which is also awesome. Uh, it's like every it's like a regular show, yeah. like every Wednesday. But the reason we have streaming is so we don't have to, to do this bullshit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, but they I, want you to hold on to that subscription. So you got it. You nailed it. Yep. And Creep Show, the Creep Show on Shutter did the same thing. Oh, is that they good? did awesome, great oh, stuff. Fuck. Yeah. Yes, I split, I split Shutter so with the, the other guy in the Retro Grab Bag show, uh, Joe. Uh, but, yeah. Nice. Is that an individual subscription, like another streaming service? Or can that be a cable uh, sign-in? I don't think that's on a, I don't think that's a cable channel. No, I think it's, it a, it's a subscription. Oh, you're, yeah. talking, you're talking about Chill. Chiller. Maybe. I think, oh, yeah, yeah, I think yeah, it's yeah, possible. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. also may have been owned by AMC. Yeah, but Shutter's making like was. no. I'm just kidding. Don't look at it. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't look at it. No, I don't know. Yeah, but Shutter's making like new content for There's it. There's some really cool stuff on there. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm very happy with that so far. But you're right. If someone just signs up to see one show, yeah, that's why I'm waiting for my free gonna... HBO month. <laughs> <laughs> Heaven. So we can watch all of. There's like three series going on right now that Watchmen. I'm... Watchmen's the only thing I'm watching on right now. Watchmen. It's pretty good. Good. Good, good. It's a little weird because it kind of has nothing to do with Watchmen, although it's in the same universe. Interesting. I mean, it's, is it, it is it is like Watchmen. Is but it it's still not. like the eighties or whatever? Yeah. Okay. Good. And Reagan's Uber president, Nixon. Or Nixon. Sorry. Does this take place before the Watchmen we know, or after? Maybe concurrent. I don't know. Well, yeah, maybe after. There may have been something mentioned. Well, about what's his name is still in Dr. the Manhattan. in the previews, so I'm assuming he didn't die yet. Uh, 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 Rorschach. That's different people. It's probably what? after that. Okay. Someone just took it's a over. Sequel? The show is a sequel. No. I don't. That's what I'm trying to figure. Or do they, maybe they bounce in time? Maybe it's just an alternate reality. Maybe it's all maybe. in Doctor Manhattan's head. I yeah. think it's in the squid octopus that killed everyone. Oh Jesus head. God! <laughs> I think it has it's something to do with I like, like that. I like that. Well, the the government's become like militarized now and stuff, and it's kind of weird. Okay, I thought it was just an adaptation of and the original. And it's in <laughs> Kansas. Oh, I think, <laughs> or Nebraska, one of those two. That's not where the first one took place, no. is it? <laughs> <laughs> Got you there. Half of that was on Mars. Yeah. You're right. Well, anyway, yeah. So let's what see you, what let's see what Papa Scotch is doing this week. <laughs> what are you What are you doing? I forgot there? we're still in this bit. Um, <laughs> I got into some Call of Duty. I'm working my way through that. Speaking Dutes. campaign on veteran. It's pretty much a joke. Did you numb it yet? Not yet. I I will numb it. Next time we talk, it'll be numbed. <laughs> And then hopefully I'll get into Ghostbusters fucking finally. The remaster? Yes. It's been sitting there on my PlayStation and just looking at me. Funny. Uh, all the cutscenes from that, they they compiled into like a little movie called Ghostbusters sure, sure. 3. So we've watched that like a million times. Like How many? Kids. How long is My it? kids love Ghostbusters. It's like fucking two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's, it's, you know, it's like an hour and a half or something like that. I it's remember cool, though. looking into it wanting to do it for this and the cutscene movie was four and a half hours long or something crazy like that. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> That's what I thought. Well, it might be gameplay along to add some yeah. yeah, it's like tie the stuff together. Maybe they yeah, just yeah, sat yeah. there and listened to yeah. Vigo talk all of his things he says, which is like... Speaking about Vigo, did you get Death Stranding and play yet? Yeah. different. Yeah. Oh, really? How is it? Oh, didn't I say that? <laughs> <laughs> Marvel movies. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's all I got. I haven't watched anything. It's fair. It's cool. Hey, I forgot something. I want to give you guys some gifts. 
Some I yes. probably should have did this when you asked me what was going ah. on. But anyway. The magic of editing. It's just a couple things. <laughs> uh, so I see, you have a, I see you have a shelf over there. So maybe you can add this little guy. This is, for, for you listeners who can't see, this is the Magnet Missile Mega Man Pez Dispenser. Oh, Magnet oh missile. yeah. Yeah, I don't, what game would he have that had the Magnet Missile? Just Magnet Man a was a lot of the NES three or four? Ones. Yeah. Yep. And it was a good one. It went across the bottom and went up or went on down. It was, yeah. It was a good weapon. Yeah, you can do whatever Used you want. Used to be a hard that. man, so that's three. Well, let's find out. Because <laughs> I, we're going we're gonna to transition to the next gift, which is, now this is going to look stupid at first. Because <laughs> you guys are looking right at it. This is a Nintendo Power from 97, June of 97, with Clay Fighter 63 and a third on it. Total, Damn. total crap game, right? Yeah, yeah. But here's what I... Maybe thinking, thinking more so I for Sean or you guys. They actually put together a uh, a Mega Man Deluxe database oh, that oh, tells you about all the shit. bosses and stuff. Nightman and Windman. This is so. Yeah, this would be like all the NES, I th Game Boy, and Super NES, which have been like Mega Man X yeah. series. So I thought you might dig that. That is nice because there's there's some pretty cool stuff in there too. But yeah, like it actually tells you about all the bosses and stuff. Yeah, Mega Man was in three. Yep. There you go. spark shock against them. So Jeez. That's pretty cool. How so, do you remember that, first of all? Serious. <laughs> yeah. I remember everything. Yeah. It really does. It's getting weird. He's like, you know, you remember we talked about that? I'm like, no. <laughs> I don't. I just thought about something. I have all my old Nintendo powers, but I never took any of the posters out. What is that poster? Because. Here's the trick. It's actually a if nude. If it's Mega Man, I'm going <laughs> to. It's actually a nude of Vinny. Is it oh, it's. <laughs> <laughs> to rock Dinosaur Hunter. Oh, oh no. That's a good oh, one. Man. No way. Fold that out. Fold that out. What is that? What is they that poster? Out a that's poster. zero. Yes. Oh, Star Fox 64. Star Fox 64. That was pretty that's good. That's pretty good. That was all right. That was all right. Oh, that's cool. And the last gift for you guys is this jar of olives. Because <laughs> oh, I know. I love and I do want to tell you, uh, you and your listeners, since they don't know me, is that I never in my life have butt fucked an olive. But, <laughs> but there you go. I very, do love them. I do love them. Very on brand. <laughs> there you go. So you guys got to start marketing your own olives, obviously. That's a good idea. Oh, bloody time dot olives? <laughs> <laughs> dot olive. No olive is safe. <laughs> I guess the reason we can just head right into it, unless, uh, no, we already went over it. The reason we're going right into it is uh, we're going to be talking about a couple of retro video games today. And who better to speak about retro games than half of the, are you the official host or is it split? Uh, we're both co-hosts, yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah he had to, Joe had to work or else uh, he'd be here. We got half of the retro grab we hour. We do. And we're going to talk about a few Nintendo games that are near and dear to at least one person in this group's heart. Sean's <laughs> heart. <laughs> that applies to all games. So uh, you guys want to get started? Just head right into this game? Yeah, sure. Pick which one you want to start at. Uh, I'm just going to go down the list of what I was given. So we're going to start with the game. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it. It's called Metroid. <laughs> no. Is, that... is it a Metroidvania? <laughs> <laughs> Funnily enough, yes. No. Funnel. <laughs> uh, there is a question I, I want to talk about this, but uh, it was released August 15th, 1987 in North America, <sighs> but was actually mm -hmm. out in almost an entire year earlier in Japan. I remember being six and getting it uh, a year early. Yeah. There's definitely, wow. <laughs> this is a trend yeah. of the Nintendo games where they would come out in the East like a year earlier. Yeah. Like how would, you, if you were really that into sucks. this kind of thing, yeah. and maybe, like how would you even get a copy of Metroid that was released in Japan in 1986? So that would have been like on the original Famicom. That might have been yeah. a disc. Ooh, that might have been a yellow disc. Because they, they they had the uh, they had the disc drive on that. I don't know. I'm assuming that. <laughs> but I'm just thinking. But it is pretty. Yeah. Oh, there was oh, no yeah. internet, so how do you get it? There was yeah. no eBay. There was no internet. Yeah. There were you get it like news a groups. Columbia House CDs, where you send in a thing to. You would have to like. <laughs> yeah. You'd have to go to your. This is my theory. You'd go to your local game shop, which had to be a mom and pop, because Blockbuster's not helping out with this bullshit. Yeah, probably and, Terry's. Probably Terry's winter. <laughs> music, the yeah. music explosion. Yeah. Music. Yeah. I, yeah. I couldn't think of the name. <laughs> Vacation video. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, had Uptown video. Up to, uh, damn it. So many back in the day. So many. Walmart I feel video. like there was one more. There was. Uh, it was by Uptown. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm sorry. Was it where they have the halls of horror? Wasn't there? A there was one in there. there. Yeah. That was the Uptown music Uptown video explosion. moved downtown. Oh, was that before they But moved? kept the name Uptown video. But there was another one in that section in where Uptown Video was next to the car, the baseball car shop. Yes. 
Oh, remember yes. baseball it's card it's like shops? Nationwide now. It's like Nationwide or something. Shit. Yeah. Or, that, those what two was buildings. that called? I don't remember, but I remember mm. being in there looking at the games and the... Was that where 48 Dude, Hours was so first? Right Early what was 90s movies. What, wasn't, wasn't 48 Hours something before it was 48 Hours? Wasn't it Yes. It was, no, it was a video store. No. In Palmerton? I thought so. It used to be a bakery. Really? I could be wrong. What the, you know, right. there, I mean, yeah, there was, of... yeah, you're right about that. Yep, <laughs> I, yep. Yes. Well, I'm sure our <laughs> listeners are fucking <laughs> <quite laughs> riveted about the internet. Hey, you guys <laughs> remember the old convenient? <laughs> Before they ripped it down, put the new one in? Yeah. Next to the mobile? <laughs> we used to call it the Crack Atlantic. The Crack Atlantic? <laughs> the Crack Atlantic? <laughs> it was an Atlantic gas station, so we called it Crack Atlantic. Oh. All right, so which one of us picked this? I... Looking at you, Dr. Scientist. Oh, yeah, Metroid. Yeah, it's a good game. Let's, let's riff on Well, Metroid, Metroid was the one Love game it. that I Love it. knew and played out of the couple. I there. just want to say that there are space pirates in this game. Yeah. 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 Not so, sky pirates. Well, I don't want to hear any bullshit if I accidentally <laughs> say sky pirates because <laughs> there were also space pirates. I've seen both. So fuck both of you. Yeah. I, preemptively. Look at that. I agreed with you. Jeez. Yeah, well, there were sky pirates in one of the games, and he was calling them space pirates. Uh, yeah, I'm the asshole. <laughs> I, <laughs> God. I said space pirates. We get along great here. I like it. Vinny. Good um, dynamic. I so see. let's. Uh, what is the story here? I have it paraphrased written down here, but I mean it's not very complicated. It's not. Well, brother, take us through. <laughs> All right, you <laughs> start Mr. off smart guy as Justin Bailey. No. Dash 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 dash. <laughs> <laughs> that was the code. Sweet. You are apparently the space pirates stole the Metroid from the planet the Metroids are from, and. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they ever tell you who hires you, but someone hires Samus to infiltrate the base and steal the Metroids back. I yeah. think it's just like the Federation, like yeah. the government. Yeah, yeah, some generic government. Name. Yep. Is Seamus spelled the same way as Samus? No. Okay, uh, there's the H in there, right? No, there's, there's an e. e. Ooh, okay. Kind of like the Irish version of Sean. Did Samus exist... Nice. Before this game as a name, or was this an amount made up thing, or a bad translation, or a made a? Do you guys not know all the intrivial trivia? Of do you think was there a human being named? Samus do you think Samus is a yes. name? Is that an actual name? Oh, is, is that, that something what you're someone saying? got okay, called? Okay, I'm sorry, I thought you meant. Uh, I don't know. Uh, They're probably. I don't know. Yeah, why not? <laughs> all right, great. <laughs> probably sufficient answer for a stupid question. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what that's a soundbite we should have. Sufficient answer for a stupid question. I'll, I'll add that to the ringtone collection. The chump slap. <laughs> the ch- next to the jump slap song. <laughs> yes, for sure. But yeah, all you do in the game is infiltrate the base. You beat, but you fight two bosses on the way to fighting the lead space pirate, Mother Brain. Mother Brain. And then Mother Brain is a space pirate. She it's a big brain. Pirates. Yeah. It's a big like, brain. She's not a pirate, though. <laughs> it's in like this she glass tube. You I thought this pirate stole her. And then you shoot him. No, shoot no. Mother Brain down. She's in charge of the space pirates. The pirates stole the Metroids. What are the other two bosses' names? Craig and Ridley. Very nice. I knew that. Wow. So this is a side <laughs> scroller. <laughs> yes. <it's> a, it, <laughs> well, but it, you, it's I still am like, wait, how is this game played? You have it's, to explore and yeah, like, it's a 2D collect. Uh, what makes stuff this a Metroidvania? It is. Yeah. The, it's, it's is the there a Belmont in this or what? Ancestor of Metroidvanias. But yeah, like there's, it's a mission. Well, Cobb Scotch can explain what a Metroidvania is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he just learned the term a couple weeks ago. You're kidding? No, I, I hadn't heard it until a couple weeks ago. But it's basically a game where you move forward and progress through the world and then have to go back and backtrack and go and open up other doors or maybe you got other keys later in the game or weapons yeah. or whatever. Symphony of the Night yeah. kind of started that. Yeah, and Super Metroid. But right. is, oh, that's and Metroid. Super Metroid's. Yeah. I mean, you don't start rolling, do you? No. You don't start with the bombs. No. But yeah, You're I, right. did, I did look I like up. You. I like you. <laughs> I was interested in, with all the weapons and stuff in it, what was the bare minimum you could beat the game with without glitches? Oh, yeah. And Morph yeah. Ball was one of them because yeah. you need to get past the first two seconds of the game. <laughs> That's a good point. You're, you're, you're immediately uh, tasked with trying to fit through a yeah. hole. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah, Morph Ball is the bomb. So you need Morph Ball. You need bombs. You need rock, rocket launchers too. You need 75 rockets. You need super missiles and regular missiles no. or something. That's, those or are there that in regular Super Metroid. It's just gotcha. regular missiles. Gotcha. You need 75 missiles and Ice Beam. Everything else is an option. Ah, the Ice Beam. Mm. I remember the Ice Beam. <laughs> Those were the days. Freezes enemies. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite one. So, just fill up my boost. So, Doctor Scientist, <laughs> when was the uh, when did you first play this game, or when do you remember playing it first? Probably the eighties, sometime. I don't remember exactly what year. Were 80s. you guys like 
788. Day one type family? No. Or wait no. till the closest holiday when you could ask for something? Probably rented it from Terry's. Yeah. Yeah, Rockefeller. <laughs> <laughs> We didn't all live on Columbia. You guys, but you guys are both so much older than me that I figured maybe you were adults by then. He's maybe a year older than me. Oh my goodness. Yeah, in 87. Just graduated high school. <laughs> He's going to go work at the factory. Mm-hmm. You know, until I figured stuff out. Yeah. You know, I forgot what I wanted to be. No, I, I remember not getting far in the game a lot when I was playing it. Because it also had the password system instead of saves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you had to, if you wrote one letter down, you fucking lost everything. It's true. Was wrong and zeros and O's. Ugh. Ridiculous. Yeah, couldn't tell them apart. I bet if we called up uh, Dave right now, he'd be able to tell us the code to get to Mike Tyson immediately. <laughs> he had yeah, shit in yeah, like yeah. way yep. longer after than would have been normal or acceptable. Well, yeah. once you remember, like Justin Bailey dash 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 dash. dash. <laughs> it's pretty. Uh... Kind of. It's hard to forget. <laughs> And well, uh, what about you, Vinny? Do you remember playing this for the first time? Mm-hmm. Or around there? Yeah. Well, definitely not in 87. Probably <laughs> probably a couple years after. Uh, but yeah, I, I think the biggest thing for me was uh, the, the end of the game has a gender reveal. Yeah. You yeah, didn't know. The original we, gender reveal. I mean, you know, you didn't. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you just, you, just it's, you could You could make assumptions. Yeah. And then, lo and behold, Samus Iron is a... It's a chick. Yeah. I didn't I will, know that happened in the first one. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Can you wait? Well, she gets like in a bikini. Yes, but you can play. Wait, you can play you know, through the game as that. Yeah. Like in without her costume on. Two steps forward. Ridiculous. One step back. Yeah. Yeah. Did you yeah. imagine yeah. if the internet was around then? That. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's why I kind of eased into that a little bit there. You guys noticed. Yeah. I'm trying to be a non. All the incels I mean, going mad. <laughs> Saying what happened in the game. Yeah, Not exactly. Wrong Nothing wrong at all. I believe if you put the Justin <laughs> Bailey, pass, ba- Bailey password in, you could play as her. She tied her helmet off. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and her hair was uh, flying behind her as she ran and stuff. Yep. I always thought there was a bulge there. <laughs> uh. That's the one thing I remember about the game. <laughs> so you saw the game. You saw the ending. You're like, that is bullshit. Yeah. I was like, oh, these aliens. <laughs> these, I see them dick swinging. These, I know that's not a lady. I saw this dick swinging. There you go. <laughs> I'm, I was trying to get into who Chump Slap is. That's not how I would talk, obviously. <laughs> yeah, six year old Chump Slap. Yeah. That's, a, that's, a dark, that's a dark place. Don't, don't. <laughs> did, I, did I bring some shit up? From... I don't want to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> not on this awesome. podcast. I am kind of sorry. <laughs> but not really. So, what is a, a, what's a Metroid? It's a thing. It's in an the game, alien right? life form, and they. I think the space pirates wanted it to harvest. Yeah, to make a to kind do of some bio bad weapon stuff. Out yeah. of it, sort yep. of. I would assume because yeah. it's Nintendo, and from what I researched, that it doesn't really get super deep into. No, the story isn't too complex. In the there. philosophy of why they're trying. to <laughs> No, they kind of and, and even in like Metroid Two and Three, they kind of just drop you in there yeah. with some with some story in the beginning, and that's sure. it. That, that's like they they don't get deep. Now maybe they did with like Metroid Prime and shit like yeah. after that, but I never played that. Unfortunately, what but, was the first game to have like an actual story in Super in Metroid series? Duck Hunt. Oh, no, just Metroid. Any game, like, <laughs> first game you can think of that had a story. Was Duck it Atari? Hunt. Like, did they have a story? Oh, all, every Pitfall, one of those, dude. Yeah. Every one of well, they they had more stories because every one of those game manuals came with oh, that's pages. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh that's bullshit! It's totally Jesus stupid. Fuck. Oh, it is because you know you're playing asteroids and you're a little guy there and there's a, there's some shit on the screen. That's it. That's it. It's so simple. <laughs> but the stories they built around it were ridiculous. Oh well, yeah. But you mean like in game? Yeah, like expensive. Uh, well, narrative in the game. Possibly. I remember. Jeez. Oh, Dragon Quest. Mm. Final Fantasy, maybe those some kind of RPGs from the Nintendo. Where, days. where more story keeps yeah. popping up as you play, not just yeah. letting you, you know, letting you loose, yeah. Or steers the narrative, you know, yeah. like not just so much like a. But like you a, have this, someone else wants it type thing. But like a platform Frogger? story. I don't know. Frogger. Yeah. Cubert. <laughs> Bayou Billy. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> yes. The Fuck. Adventures of Bayou Billy. <laughs> what a great game. The Adventures of Bayou Billy. Weren't mm-hmm. there some gun levels, right? Like some uh, Nintendo oh, yeah, gun levels in the Adventure Like you'd do side scrolling for a while mm. and then it would be guns. Mm-hmm. Could you use the gun at that? The, I the think zapper. So. The I don't zapper. Know. I don't know. I don't remember either if you just moved with the. <laughs> you know, the, you could use the zapper. <laughs> <laughs> they Duck made you pause the game, <laughs> switch it out, put the zapper in. Oh, it's like Metal Gear Solid bullshit. <laughs> oh, nice. 
The Zapper. Is that what his official name is? The Virtual Gun? <laughs> I thought it was called the Zapper. I think it's a Zapper. Yeah. I think maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Did you guys have the red one or the gray one? Nice. Orange. Orange. Oh, was it orange? Yeah. It was gray and orange. Yeah. yeah. It was mostly gray. Orange. We only had gray. Yeah, we had gray. Yeah. I don't we're, know we're if I've ever seen. I never. I don't Those think were I've the newer, better one. ones. Yeah, yeah. I've seen the highfalutin types. <laughs> I think they released. It, it certainly wasn't like <laughs> rare to have a gray one. Yeah, but at some point, I believe they stopped manufacturing that and just went with orange from there on out. That's that's. Cool. Oh, was I orange the newer version? I per, I thought so. Well, let's look it up. Look well, it, it up. makes sense because no, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was wondering. I was wondering where we were going with that. How does that Because everything was all gray to begin with. Everyone played Duck Hunt with the Zapper. Have you ever heard of a game called Hogan's Alley for NES? Heard of it. I've heard of Fantastic it. Fantastic with the Zapper. It's, it blows Duck Hunt out of the water. It's about like, Nazi zombies? It's, yeah. How'd you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's like a shooting gallery plus a ton of mini games, and it's really fun. Whereas Duck Hunt is, you're, you get pissed at that fucking dog most of the time. Yeah, he's yeah. always <laughs> laughing <laughs> at fucking, me. Oh, I hated that. Yeah, smile. yeah. Yeah, good shit. I have a laughing dog tramp stamp. <laughs> oh, you do? Look at that. Oh, my. Why does it take up half the bottom of your back? Yeah. That's not how tramp stamps normally thought, go. I thought he had pants on. <laughs> it's supposed to just take up a part of your back. But who am I to tell a man how to get a tramp stamp? Uh, so, goodness. I guess, you, you guys good with that? You want to move on to the next game? You want to talk no, about Metroid? Metroid was good. Metroid was good. I mean, I, I, just real quickly, I know of course. with time and everything, Super Metroid. I think might be the best Super Nintendo game of all time. Now, yeah, I wasn't into there. Chrono Trigger or Harvest Moon, like the, R- the epic RPGs that were on that system. But, crazy story. Um, my brother Joe was playing through Super Metroid for a very long time, right? He saved, got to the end. I, he must have been at work or something, picked up the game and fucking beat Super Metroid. And to this day, <laughs> I bring it up. I beat Super Metroid. <laughs> it was it was a piss poor move. I only you beat from I, his like save. Oh game? Yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He couldn't do it then. He was like I totally fucked him over. He's still pissed about it to this day. Wow. So yeah, we had like friends back then that would like make fun of him for that. <laughs> and I was you know I was in like sixth grade or something. I don't even know what, fifth grader. Anyhow, uh, we'll more. cover Super Metroid one time. Just... So good. So the original Nintendo Zapper. This is actually interesting. I'm, I'm stopping us because this is actually interesting. But uh, the Zapper was released in North America in 1985 with the launch NES. Mm-hmm. And at that point, it had the gray on gray. Different, oh. different shades of gray, gray barrel, gray plastic. Right. And then the design originally released in North America. I read that. The federal, in 1988, the federal toy gun law was signed into United States law requiring that toy guns be visually distinct from real guns in a variety of ways, including color. So in 1989, the orange NES zapper. Who thought the gray zapper was a real fucking gun? There were too many many kids shooting themselves with zappers everywhere. (laughs) That (laughs) is so insane. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah. I I thought that was pretty cool. I didn't didn't know the big government (laughs) made made me change my zapper color. It's a a government gun. Yeah, It's always the fucking government. I don't even want one now. (laughs) I'm gonna paint my Glock still hear orange. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can hear it. Right oh yeah, it's, spring, it's like a I spring. Can still hear yeah. It. yeah, absolutely. I hear it in my nightmares. And I can still yep, hear exactly. myself being pissed off. I know I hit that fucking duck, and it didn't even register. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. Watch, I'll even bring the gun yeah, right up to the screen. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> and what kind of so dog? Right. Like, talk about biting the hand that feeds you. Why yeah. would you talk shit on the person? that's like, yo, I need to ride home. <laughs> like, oh, I'll laugh at you. Let me antagonize you all day. Yeah, what a prick. I anyway, know. I agree. <laughs> yeah, I agree. only if you really. missed. I think the ultimate in in lazy with that game was not to even put it to the to the TV. It was to get a printout of one of the ducks and just sit there and shoot it. Because all it did was take a take a picture. So if you had a picture of a duck, you could sit there and go like this. Um, oh, I really? don't know. I don't know if I speak for these guys, but you're blowing my goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did yeah, not know that. The, the, zapper, the zapper is a camera. Yeah. So that's that when you when you would shoot the screen, you'd see a little box. Yeah, the white oh, box. That's taking a picture. So the box would have to be on the picture on a duck. of the. That's it. Wow. Yep. <laughs> it's a it's a camera. <laughs> Which would make sense. I don't know why, why I sometimes thought... you're right in front of it, it doesn't register. Yeah. Shit, my mind is fucking blown. I never even thought <laughs> about <laughs> how. Yeah, I gotta leave. <laughs> I'll be back in a half hour. I gotta <laughs> test this out. <laughs> gotta love the zap. But uh, that'll take us to our second game we're going to talk about, another NES game. These are all NES games. I don't yeah. need to say another NES game. No. No, this isn't NES. Is this Nintendo? NES special. I think it's possible. I maybe forgot to go over the fact that we're talking about just NES games today. 
Well, no, you said something about retro games, so that's close enough. But that was... But there's it'll be in the name of the fucking episode. Yeah, yeah they thought, you know what? <laughs> Maybe we confuse the listeners, but it's too late now. They're already in, so... Confuse the listener. The next game we're talking about <laughs> is OG Castlevania, released September 26th, 1986. Hmm. Taking place way back in the day in the year 1691. So who wants to paint us a picture of this? Well, I mean, I could go through the whole story in about 10 seconds here. Let's have it. It's 1691, you're Simon Belmont, and you are kind of enlisted to defeat Dracula. On to the next game. (laughs) And the next game we're doing. Alrighty. Like, no, your ancestors have the vampire killer. The Belmont clan, yep. How many levels were in this game? Uh, Oh, not too many, actually. Like eight? eight? Yeah, yep. And it was just castle? No, there's a little. Oh, no. Is there a little bit? There's a little bit underground. Yeah. I know in later ones there was yeah. a lot more outside. There was there was a little bit outside because you have to fight those stupid. It's like a swamp. Eagles that dropped the yeah. flea man. Castlevania three, it's a big swamp stage there. Yeah. What's the speed run on this? Ish. Oh, like ball parts. Minutes. Yes. Eleven minutes. Yeah, it's people can and I hate that because <laughs> they're just they're <laughs> I, I, ju- they're they're taking damage on purpose to go yeah. faster, and they're not killing anybody. Nope, uh, speed runs piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> we have a guy over here who's loves spe- I am gesturing towards Doctor Scientist, <laughs> who uh, oh, he will guy? often watch. Speed runs all the time. Often, oh, I watch quite them. Often. I, I just get mad at them. He just watches just, them. like the dog. You hate watch them? In Duck Hunt. <laughs> <I, laughs> like, like Chump Slap's going to play hate, hate play Death Stranding? <laughs> Damn straight I am. All right. The only thing I hate about him is that I play... I don't think I've ever beaten Castlevania. Okay. Because I die so many times, but then I watch it's them beat difficult. it in 11 minutes, and it's like flawless. You're like, and, how do they do that? Yeah. I guess. Maybe, I, maybe I don't like the people better. <laughs> 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 maybe that's my problem. That's probably it. No, nah, good for them. I mean, it's insane what they do with some of that shit. I can't talk as much to those, but I've, I've seen like the crazy... Uh, like the Mario Maker levels people are coming up with. That's neat. Yeah, there's That's no way. That's insane shit. That is cool. I wouldn't even I try those levels. <laughs> no. Do you, any of you guys have a Switch? Do you have I do. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah, I gotta get one. I haven't played much Mario Maker at all, though. I've been trying to get through Zelda and mm. Smash. I only bought it like a couple months ago. Mm-hmm. thought about getting the Switch portable, the little mini Switch or whatever the fuck it's called, but... Yeah. Someone told me it was garbage. <laughs> is it out? I didn't even know it was yeah, out yet. Yeah, yeah. Why are you looking at... Uh, Papa Scotch over there, but that's new, right? No, he didn't tell me it was. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they they released like a. My brother uh, told me strictly portable version. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't have like the Joy Cons don't come off, right? They're just. Like, I it's, it looks like a Game Gear size. Oh, gotcha. right, right, right. Oh, you're talking about the uh, the Nomad. Oh dear lord, <laughs> what did that take? Like C or D batteries? I think it was, no, <laughs> it's so, serious, dude. I think you. I think they were double A's, but I think it was like. <laughs> Whoa, whoa. 12 of them or some <laughs> fucking The, the Nomad <laughs> was a bullshit. portable Sega. You put Genesis games in it, not Game Gear. <laughs> and the yeah. thing was like the yeah. thing was like a what? It was a brick. It was so big. Yeah. It was so I don't know how you actually Dude, it's awesome. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, you have to play like a arcade. No, no, arcade it was, no, no. It was like you had the sticks on either side. Yeah. Right? Like but uh, oh, really? something like that, yeah. It took so many fucking batteries. You had to hook up and a they, car it, battery to it. Yeah. I think I don't know if they were C's. It might have been double A's, but I think it was like twelve of them, eight like or a twelve. Car of battery, them, and they lasted like three hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if that, if that, I think it was a terrible battery life. Yeah. Oh man. The back technolo- the technology, the technology back then for batteries, it just wasn't there. No. No, well, and we just threw them away. <laughs> 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 right in the right landfill. Right into the ocean. Them. Yeah. <laughs> right into the ocean. <laughs> I fed them to little dolphins. <laughs> The babies, but uh, Aww. so this takes place. We're just still talking about ta- yeah. uh, Castlevania. All right, the first one. So, do you fight Count Dracula series. at the end? Is that the end boss yes. of the game? It's yes. He's usually the end boss, and usually the Grim Reapers right before yeah. him. In every in every before. fucking game, you fight <laughs> death, and then you fight Dracula. Death works and death for Dracula. Is d- usually a little harder. Sometimes. Yeah, I, death is, is there yeah, a, is there almost always a Frankenstein monster and yes. a Medusa head? Most yeah. yes. Yep. I feel like it distorted many of the classic Castlevania monsters. It's like Hammer Horror. You know what I mean? Like is that it, was, what it, is? it was like in, in like Universal Monsters, like yeah. kind of kind of an idea. You fight a mummy in this yeah. one. Now, oh, yeah, being mummies. from someone yep. who hasn't played much Castlevania at all over the years, do, wouldn't it make more sense if Count Dracula was the boss before Death? Don't you feel like Death is the boss? No, Death is like Dracula's bitch. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm serious. In in the Castlevania, Dracula can control. Lore, yeah, right. Yeah. But that just doesn't because he has power over Death, right. I guess. Because he doesn't. Die. No, you're right. It's it's the, <laughs> it but, should be the other way around, right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. No, 
All right, thanks. Did you ever watch the Netflix series? Yeah, Dracula's a badass. I fucking man. love no. that show. Is it it's good? So yeah, good. it's so good. good. I think it's Netflix's greatest show. That's wow. how much I like it. I'll give you that. And I'm like, name, name, name a better it's one. one. No, it's definitely up there. Name a no. better one. I like Jesse yeah, Jones, exactly. but <laughs> it might be um, second. So where the fuck is season three of that? It's coming in December, I saw. I this think December. that was that was a lie. I, oh, was I don't want to break your heart because I read that too. <laughs> that was like that was like a day or two ago, right? Yeah. Fuck it, I'm not. Re- nope. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, yeah. Go I know. Home. Tell you Dude, what, it's real bullshit. Soft. Do you know who wrote it? Warren Ellis. Yeah, yeah. Comic, From comic books. Yes, like it's so good, and it's based off of the Preacher? third game. Yes. Uh, no, that looks good. Darth, Darth Enos, Enos did yeah. Preacher. Uh, Warren Ellis did like like planetary and stuff like that. Um, Ellis and Enos. I always get those two confused. <laughs> Enos. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, solid show. Yeah. I, I need more. And of it has Sypha Bell nods. And oh, awesome. Dude, the first oh, season just blew Grant, my mind. I'm assuming Grant's going to be coming up. I assume point. so too. Uh, it still says no premiere date for Castlevania season three has been set. However, it has definitely been ordered and there it's coming. Oh yeah, like, it's, it's coming. Happen, it's but, coming. Yeah. It took forever for season two. Well, it seemed like forever. That was so good. It's not like, like Bill and Ted 3. I we didn't have to wait that. Do I need to know any Castlevania backstory before I jump into uh, the game? If you want to play Castlevania 3, you, may, you might enjoy the show a little better. Castle, it's, it's basically Castlevania 3. What that platform day, is Castlevania 3? Warren Ellis like? just made it. Oh, it's, NES. and it's bloody as hell. We'll talk Trevor about Trevor Beaumont's a, a drunk. You know what I mean? He starts off <laughs> yeah. as a drunk. Like It's fun. It's a lot of fun. It's gory, though, for an anime. Well, I guess all animes are gory. Yeah. I don't, dude. I don't know. <laughs> Not enough boobs for an anime, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, no chick with four tits. <laughs> yeah, so weird. <laughs> Not even a tentacle to be seen. God, blame. You know what? I don't like the show anymore. <laughs> you know, you're right. I don't, there's so much, like, I have friends... In Virginia, who are huge bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right? Call you out there. Not that many. I do use the plural, but we're there's talking, two. Uh, it's under five. <laughs> Just say that. But uh, they are big into anime, and they'll talk to each other in anime talk about things. And I'm like, yeah, that's cool, guys. You gotta weed out, man. That's uh, awesome. What's yeah. anime talk? You're either really into it or you're not. Yeah, it's it not, really is. It's not something. Is that a racist you're, way you're to say either, Japanese? You're either really into anime and you've seen it all, or you've seen Castlevania on Netflix. Yeah. Like, no, it's, <laughs> that's, it's, okay. that's pretty much it. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. So that is, uh, that's our second game of the day, Castlevania. <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. Pretty, which leads into its sequel. Which we're going to talk about now, Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest. Released December 1st, 1988 in North America and in Japan, August 28th, 1987. So like a year and two months, a month earlier. Hmm. And it's set seven years after the first one. Yep. Okay. Yep, you're still Simon, obviously. Keep, keep talking to us about oh, it. Oh, yeah, you're Simon. And when you killed the Count in the first game, he put a curse on you that if you didn't resurrect him, you died. or Something like that. Something along those lines. Yeah. So how the first game ended? Yeah, I think he is dying or something like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're right. Yep. Which, I mean, if he's a vampire killer... Did they actually say that at the end of Castlevania 1? Or is this no. like retconned? Oh, I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> it's like retconned? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, at the end of Castlevania 1, he kind of just killed Dracula and it's over. So this apparently happened off screen. Yeah. After he was dead. They should make a game of that. Just that story. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the whole game, the whole point of this game is to collect five parts of Dracula mm-hmm. so you can resurrect him so you don't die and then kill him again. Oh, so this is just like Blood Rain. Easiest <laughs> final boss. Sort of, yes. <laughs> it's, it's like Belier. If there I were more Nazis. A few zombies. games, a few games that, probably, yeah. that did that. But, uh... but yeah, it's, you spend the whole game. There's a day-night system in it. Mm-hmm. You spend the whole game just trying to hunt down these parts to go to the Dracula's castle and resurrect them. So does every game star Simon Belmont? No. No. These are the only two, probably. Really? Like after this, we're done with... Simon, yeah. So you can stay with the Belmont family. I feel like there's some chicanery. Well, they, yeah, they did some stuff where there's no Belmonts. Yeah, too, and I'm not a big fan of that. But no, Castlevania three. Soma, Soma, whatever the fuck his name is. Oh yeah, Army, Army of Sorrow, and Mm -hmm. he's he's probably my favorite. There's so many. There's so many. How many? I don't know if you know exactly the number. How many Castlevania games are we at now? A lot. There are a lot. Just so many Game Boy Uh, games. Probably like Like, fifteen. The Game Boy games. Oh, it might be more than that. Yeah, I would imagine. Hey, let's look it up. There's two new ones for <clears throat> PS3. You mentioned uh, Metroidvania and all that. So usually you think of Symphony of the Night as being... Yeah, it's one of the but, penultimate ones. But in, in Castlevania 2, it's non-linear. And you do have to run around looking for stuff. Yeah. So it almost it's, uh, Castlevania 2 is kind of kind of like that too. Yeah. But I think obviously with Symphony of the Night, everyone's going to say that. 
that was Metroidvania. Yeah, it was kind of not a real thing. I yeah. mean, it was. They were side-scoring platformers. But sure, but the, this wasn't these. like the first one where you're just kind of running around, yeah. run, running, gunning, it's linear, you know? Yeah. yeah. Yep. In this first two games, could you just hold the button in your chain? No. You hold your arm out and your chain goes... That would be <laughs> the Super, Super yeah. Castlevania 4, which is... Amazing. I love that. Such a good game. <laughs> that is, just, that's one of the best mechanics. You're just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why did they never why did they point. never do that again? Do you ever notice that? Like that's the only Castlevania game where you can control your whip like that. You could do it in a harmony of oh. despair. Yeah. Ah, see it? Perfect. Perfect. That's and, the only re- the only one I ever played. That was a good one. Did you ever play that? The no. side scrolling ones for the PS3. Oh, great. Yeah, it's got like six characters you could play. Oh, maybe even more than that. Maybe Soma, Ali Khan, oh, yeah, Simon, Trevor. What is, what is Vampire Killer? It's the name of the whip. Well, it's also a completely different game, apparently. Yes. Platform adventure game released by Konami for the MSX2 computer on October 30th, 1986. It's a parallel version of the original Castlevania, which debuted a month earlier. So it's the exact same thing, just a different name on a different console. Man, right, yeah. Weird. Well, is that like a Japanese release? Does it count as a Castlevania game? Then? Not if it has, doesn't have I mean, Castlevania the in the name. <laughs> yeah, duh. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> well, fuck. Is me, Metroid man. Castlevania game? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh, thank yeah, you. This might be the only Castlevania Nintendo I actually beat. I don't think I ever the beat second one, one or three. Yeah, they're so tough. I'm, I know. I don't blame you. Yeah, two is very beatable. You're right. Yeah. If you know, if three. you know what you're doing, you know. Obviously, you got to get over that hump, but yeah, because once you collect Dracula's parts. Doesn't he just stand there? Yeah. Like, he's so easy. You, yeah, hit, you hit him with holy water, he's done. The, yeah, the holy water is, like, cheap. It stuns them so they can't move, so you just keep throwing it. I count 29 Castlevania. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Lord. We'll but cover some them all them, at some point. Some of them, there's <laughs> definitely that scenario we just talked about with Vampire Killer. There's a couple of those in here. Yeah. So, official, official. Is there an official canon? Like, can I go somewhere and look at what is canon in every story? Castlevania Wiki, probably. Oh, I'm sure there's a there's, a, right there's oh. a timeline. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure somebody put together a timeline for that. But like the third game takes place before any of the first ones. Because yeah. Trevor Belmont, I believe, is Simon Belmont's dad. I, well. Is that something like that? I think he's a descendant. I don't think he's his dad. Okay. Because it's like 200 years between right. the third one and the first one. Oh, gosh. Gotcha. People lived a lot longer back then, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Especially when they, have curse, when they have curses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, obviously. But yeah, in Castlevania 2, there's also, I saw, I didn't even know this until I read the thing again. That there's three different endings depending on how quickly you beat it. Oh, which one? Castlevania two. Two, okay. Because there's a day night cycle, so if you do it in a certain amount of days, mm. like you can beat it and you live, and if it takes you like longer than fourteen days, you both die. You and Dracula. I don't know. The can- I don't know what the canon ending wow. was. That's great. I did not know that. Hmm. It's probably the first game I could think of that had different kinds of endings. Not, not that they're Pretty so awesome. different, but. Pretty awesome. Yeah. Nintendo tried to do weird stuff with their second games, Mario two. No, well, that, I mean, Mario that's Doki Doki Z- Panic. Uh, Link, you know. <laughs> Zelda, yeah. It was... Like, they, they had some weird... And then in the third games, they usually just went back to whatever they were doing. I remember playing Zelda 2 Link's Awakening, and it's being like a side-scroller jumping thing. I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah. Like, this is nothing yeah. at all. I wanted more of the original Zelda. Of course. They should bring, like, a Mario 2 World new one of those games in. Where you're picking yeah. up shit from What the was world? the name of that game? Doki Doki Mar- Panic. Yeah, there it is, yep. Yeah. But it was definitely, I forgot, I it's been a while since I read about it, but it was definitely a completely separate game they made for a completely yeah, separate region. Yeah, they just re-skinned, region. The, they re-skinned the characters. Yeah, so. and then just put Mario's name on it and it yeah. the original, it out west. The original Mario 2 was too hard. Yeah, they said it was, it was too exactly hard for It was exactly like Western the first audiences. game, but so hard. Did you, you see it? it? Oh, it's yeah, so it's, it, ridiculous. Well, it's, it's called the, the Lost Levels, yeah. which is oh, in Super Mario All-Stars. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. so that that's the original. There's like wind mechanics and stuff. and you, they, they just are really mean to you. They, yeah. just, <laughs> they want Mario to die a lot. Did they finish it or was they just get like halfway through? Oh, it was released right? in Japan gonna... as oh. Super Mario Bros. 2. So it was a real finished, done yeah. game. Oh, yeah. And yeah. We didn't get it. We got Doki Doki, 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 Doki Panic. Panic. Reskinned. <laughs> Because right. they said it was too hard for Western. <laughs> I wonder how hard it is to find. How dare they? Copy of that. The original Super you, Mario 2. Oh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, probably rare. This Japanese version is probably around somewhere. Well, I know. There's no American version. Hmm. But that does it for Castlevania 2 we were doing. Then we'll hmm. go back in time and do Castlevania 3. Let's, yeah. let's do it. Let's talk about <laughs> Castlevania 3, which, judging by what I wrote down, was released on September 1st, 1990. <laughs> and Japan... December 22nd, 1989. 
closing the gap a little bit. Only a yeah. ten month oh, wait. They got better at translating. Almost got there. Is that that's probably <laughs> what the, the holdup was? Yeah. Some like someone in the office is like, "Hey, can you translate this to like English? That'd be great." It's like I don't, I don't speak English. There wasn't Google Translate then. They couldn't just do that. It's a different time. Like these, <laughs> these kids in America don't even know. There's no internet. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Castlevania Three: Dracula's Curse is set in 1476, and it's another very complex story where Dracula just sends monsters out terrorizing the the people. And you are Trevor Belmont. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and your clan has been. They were, I guess, excommunicated from the church. And then all these monsters are attacking. So the church finds you and asks you to help them defeat Dracula and all these monsters. And that's what the whole job is in the game is to go beat Dracula again. Love this game. Like, might be one of my oh, favorite it's, games it's of all game. time. It's a great it's game. So I just good. could never beat it. So oh, it's so hard. So some of the bosses, uh, so there were three side characters. Yep. So if you might defeat a boss, it would like morph into like, the, the person that I guess Dracula turned him, you know, whatever. Yeah. And you could choose to uh, fight with this person or leave him behind. I thought that was a cool option. <laughs> I just fucking leave you behind. <laughs> like, it's terrible. But yeah, and they had special abilities too. Yeah. So it wasn't just the whip now. You can climb on walls. and yeah, uh, Grant can Al- climb on walls. Yeah, and Alucard turns into a bat. And Sypha just had magic. Sypha was very powerful. I think that was about it. Like, yeah. Who was awesome Al- game card? Alucard. Alucard. It's Dracula backwards. Yeah, well, yeah, man. Shit. Both, you're talking <laughs> yeah, about man. it. You're it's, talking about it as if it were a character in the game. He, he, is. he is. Explain more, please. He's a dampier. If you remember <laughs> oh, that. Right. Yes, remember I that do. I Blood know Rain. that term now. Yes, <laughs> we went over that in Blood Rain. He is well, Dracula's oh. son. And Adrian Tepish. That's his name. He's Dracula. <laughs> Alucard is actually Adrian Tepish, who was Dracula's son. <laughs> yes. Watch the yeah. Netflix, man. Yeah, really. It's, yeah, it's all man. in there. Jesus. <laughs> You're right. I'm the asshole. You're right. I'm the asshole. Well, you but don't yes. like anime? <laughs> Dracula is his dad, and he has a human mother. Mm-hmm. So was Dracula a vampire when they the yes. conception? Yeah. Happened? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He used to oh, live with yeah. her back in the day. <laughs> Jesus. And Sypha is just a magician who kind of helps you. She's kind of like a... Well, they make her look like kind of a priestess uh, yeah. magician. Yeah. She's helping you try and Spells be Dracula. Spells on her. And Grant is just some kind of thief that... He's a scumbag, I think. Yeah, he's, he's just, pretty much a scumbag. <laughs> he looks like a pirate. Yeah. He looks yeah. like a little pirate. Um, but yeah, you could take one with you and you could switch between that one. Yeah, you can only take one. Yep. Yeah, tough game though, toward the end. Uh, yeah, I always hated the, the clock tower levels. Because you get knocked oh, yeah. off and you'd oh, fall away. Oh, God, the fucking Medusa heads. Yep. One wrong anything. Eh, you're just you're falling yeah. right to the bottom. And actually, it. it was like a scrolling up thing. <clears throat> You don't know what Medusa heads are? Uh, Chump Slap, did you ever play this game? No. Because <laughs> <laughs> you were being very quiet over there. No, you said the only As you was I. Was, uh, I know, I was like... Which is fine. I was just like, do we have anything... What was the one you said you played? You only played one, Castlevania? I only played the one that was on... Uh... PS3? Yeah. Okay. I gotta, get, I gotta check that out. Yeah, it's, it's fun. It, it is. It's, you, they have different Castlevania games you go through. Yeah. And you have a half hour time limit to beat the level, and it's oh, it's entertaining. Wow, yeah. And you have to okay. farm for a lot of things, and very nice. Yeah, it's more like a farm simulator. Yeah, Valmont plant crops one. and shit. Sounds dope <laughs> AF. <laughs> <laughs> Super dope. And there, in Castlevania Three, there was different routes you could take. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's pretty. Cool. I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah, and you had different endings, kind of on who you took with you when you beat it. Did the different routes you take take you to different paths, or did yeah. they eventually converge and go? Well, they ev- yeah, you're right. They eventually, eventually get to Dracula's castle. Yeah. So you, well, at the end, sure. But yeah. do you, can you t- fight like three bosses and get to Dracula, and then do a completely different run where you fight three other bosses and then get to Dracula? Well, I, and you can also not much? pick up Alucard. Yeah. You could skip over him, I think, or maybe not get Grant. Well, yeah, you can totally skip over that that clock tower. Yeah. Where you get Grant, you can completely skip that. So. It, the replayability, I guess, that's what they're going for. I don't know. Yeah. That was pretty cool. You don't see that very much. In the I US. love that game so much. World. So what was it, 90, 90, 91? Yeah, 90. That's fantastic. 1990. Yeah, and then depending on who you beat it with, they had like Ali Card goes to sleep because his job is done. Right. And Sypha eventually marries Trevor, and that mm-hmm. starts the whole Belmont clan. Yep. And Grant becomes the leader of the area of Wallachia. He's no longer a pirate. Of course. Yeah. That's awesome. And it kind of, 
I mean, all of them tie together in the later Castlevania games. Of course. Of course yeah. they do. Obviously. This is a sprawling epic. I don't think <laughs> the they did series. that multi-side character thing again either. No, they didn't. Yeah, they kind of gave up on that. It was a shame. This was awesome. It's kind of like... I a, love the options like for that. It's kind of Bloodstained did that now where you can switch between people? Hmm? I don't know. Bloodstained? <laughs> Jump Slap's still here, guys, by the way. He did not leave. He's been eating olives for like yeah. 20, 30 what are you minutes. Doing I've that? been eyeing them up. <laughs> <laughs> they are nice. I, I've never played the Bloodstain. Oh, I think that you can switch characters in that kind of like. Okay. That. That's the one that just came out. Oh, yeah. Last year. No, of course. Yeah. Um, by the guy that, who made yeah. Castlevania. Yeah. That's awesome, by the way. Yeah, I didn't play it yet either, but I kind of I saw speedruns of it. It looks like Castlevania three. Yeah. Are there like, like fan mods versions of this? I'm sure there oh are. dear lord. <laughs> Castle, Castlevania has to be like from what I've seen, the the most hacked. Like Castlevania one. Right, right. The most hacked. Anything. You can buy them. you could buy a thirty dollar brand new Castlevania game that someone made. And they're good. <laughs> and awesome. they get they get really good reviews. Yeah. yeah. There's there's a new one right now called Castlevania the uh the Holy Relics. It's a complete it looks fantastic. No shit. It's new. It's like, well, we want this stuff. Like, <laughs> yeah, I may pick that up eventually. But uh, yeah, they, they hacked the crap out of that. I do have a uh, Sega Genesis version of Streets of Rage 3, but they have the Simpsons characters in it. Oh, from, my <laughs> God. From the Simpsons arcade game. So you can select all the Streets of Rage characters, but you can also select Bart, Lisa, Maggie. She should like that's neat. I like yeah, that. I love that. I it's like so that. fucking great. I like that people are doing so that. Great. I like that people are doing that. I would it's love really to neat. see Streets of Rage fighting those fucking the rook, the kangaroo. It exists. Like it's a <laughs> thing you can do. It's a thing, and it's not like crazy expensive. It's like twenty bucks you can get. This. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Someone exactly, just poured yeah. it onto a cartridge. They even put like a real sticker on it. It's fucking it awesome. Looks good. Yeah, I have a hat, I have a, hat, a Castlevania hat called uh, uh, Harvester of Sorrow. No way, that's a Metallica song. <laughs> uh, what the hell is it called? I don't know. Something. It, it, came, it came on a red cart. Nice. Oh, it's awesome. Nice. This game is so fucking hard, though. Now with 3D printing, can they just print any cart they want now? A problem. Well, well not. even probably without right. 3D printing, if you had enough money and resources, you could just make them. Because they made them in the 80s. I don't know if you knew that. Yeah, he's got a point. They made 3D printers in the 80s? Well, they made I think he's talking Nintendo about cartridges. cartridges so. What? In the 80s? <laughs> I'm just saying, it. I don't think it's You could also take apart all your Bayou Billy copies and put things How on. fucking dare you? <laughs> you watch your mouth, sir. You take apart your I'm not getting rid of a single one of those 33 copies of the Adventures of Bayou Billy. Oh, my God. I need backups. That is so good. God, I think it's the first one alphabetically for NES games. It was always the first or one of the top in the Game Genie yeah, book? Yeah. That's why I remember it. That's why I remember it. From. I like that. I still have it. I definitely do. The cartridge of the Adventures of Bayou Billy. I think I got one. It was very too. cheap. It was one of the. <laughs> oh yeah, like yeah, yeah. Oh, you want to add this game? Not really. It's one thirty. Like yeah, sure. I'll nope. I'll spend a dollar thirty cents. That's, that's awesome. my collection. Costs more to ship it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Like you want a complete box? Sure. Okay, it's three dollars. Sealed. Sealed. <laughs> Two fifty. <laughs> Autographed. Autographed by Luis Gonzalez and Tony <laughs> Gwynn. Yep. Dude, that'd be so cool. <laughs> I'd buy that. For oh sure. my god. Can you imagine like going with this bit and buying the cartridge and then meeting Luis Gonzalez at like a, <laughs> an actual fan signing convention and people are giving him baseballs and gloves and you're like, can you just sign this copy of this game? For, like, I, it's, I know it's, you weren't in the game, but this is a huge bit me and my friends have. <laughs> it's like, you think I'm a fucking Dude, joke? Like, well, like, yeah, it's like, here's your $20. <laughs> just sign it, monkey. Do you think there's enough of a demand for Luis Gonzalez autographs that he's out there doing these? Things. Oh, dude! Yes, come on! Really? Yeah, he's absolutely. A, I, I would, I would hope so. He's like a four-time All Star. Let's look it up. Oh, Luis hey. Gonzalez. But does he need to do that? Yeah. Well. Oh, you know, I was thinking of Luis Guzman. <laughs> <laughs> Completely oh. different person, different baseball player altogether. <laughs> well, let's get his autograph too. <laughs> he's a five-time All Star. Oh, I mean that's pretty fucking he's not good. A he's probably made some money doing it too. He's also fifty-two years old. Yeah. And lives in Tampa, Florida. Oh, he was born in Tampa, Florida. Florida. Whoa, words are tough. Sometimes. Who needs them? Bunch of <laughs> Blind I people. I remember him breaking his bat and singling over Mariano Rivera's head. That's all that mattered Ooh. to me. Dude, he came into the league when he was 22 years old, and he played until he was 40. Wow. That's a hell of a career. Damn. Do you guys want to go over his stats individually? Yeah. How many RBIs does he have? Like, career? Yeah. He has... <laughs> career RBIs. Career RBIs. Let's take a guess. 18-year career? 19-year career, yeah. technically. 19-year career. 16-5. What about you, Vinny? What's your guess? 
I was going to go probably a, maybe like 14 5, yeah, five zero, 14 15. He's probably, you know, <laughs> jump slap be more. Jump slap. Go high. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you he had a couple years of 100. Um, yeah, how many games do they play a year? Yeah. 162. 162. 162. Every year for 19 years. You got to assume 20, he was injured for parts of this. Sure. Actually, he was quite the Iron Man. He had one year where he only played 105. The rest were over 145. 1876. Nice. No. And by the way, I'm terrified how close your answer was. Really? It was 1439. <laughs> you were 11 <laughs> off. That's got to be worth something. I'm taking this with me. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. That's good. That's you close. can have a cookie. <laughs> yeah, you can have a cookie. And I thought I was low, to be honest with you. I, I mean, that's still I pretty fucking good. Yeah, for... cool. I don't know what the fuck a ribby is. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is a ribby? What the hell is whip? Is that another thing? I still have no I have idea. no idea what that or is. war. I don't know what that war? means. War? Yeah, that. there's fucking Wins war. Wins against replacement. What? Yeah, but what is that? What's the metric for war? I don't know the exact formula, but it's compared to the average... How many wins you bring your team above the average person at your position? But how do I bring wins for my team? Just wins I can. It, it depends on your <laughs> batting average. I don't, yeah, I don't stuff. know. We still talking about baseball? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Apparently. And whip is walks plus hits per inning pitched. Oh, walks plus hits. What? How many base runners you allowed per inning you pitched? No, I thought that was my walks car. Walks per <laughs> hits. So any time you have a base runner. plus yeah. hits per inning pitched. <laughs> okay. Well, see that at least kind of makes sense. The war thing does... Uh, <laughs> no, that's a very complicated you're getting, formula. You, listeners, you're getting some real inside baseball <laughs> shit going on yeah. here. Oh, this literally. Is just, this is what they came to hear. Mm-hmm. Louise Guzman. <laughs> 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 Louise Guzman. Louise Guzman's career RBIs. <laughs> zero. <laughs> I'm guessing zero. Yeah. Well, he played in the Mexican leagues for a couple of years. Uh, oh, hey. Yeah. Was, he what? did? <laughs> <laughs> that's, like, that's a real league of baseball. I didn't yeah. make that up. <laughs> All right, does anyone have anything else they want to say about Castlevania? No, it's we... fantastic. Great series. Yep. Yep. So a strong first three games is what you're saying. Yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, solid, apparently. Pretty solid. Thank you. Thank, <laughs> thank you, Chump Slap. <laughs> awesome contribution. Thanks. But uh, that's going to take us to our next game, which is the OG original Metal Gear, released July 13th, 1987. That's the only date I found. I don't know if it was concurrent or if it came out later. July 13th, 1987. So it was... Wait, when did the Nintendo come out? 85? Five. Five. I thought it was 5. No. Four, well, five. 3 in Japan, 80, I thought 85, 5 was. 85. Yeah. yeah, maybe. So this was an earlier one. They didn't make as many games every year. Same year as Metroid. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So, Jesus. Who wants to even is try... Do I have to unpack Is this also this? Konami? Like Castlevania? Yes. yes. Is this it? is okay. Konami. I thought so. But uh, this We're, whole series is famously known for its complete fucking nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Like, and it starts here. Because yeah. it's like the Deadpool of video games. <laughs> it's not, no, because at least Deadpool fun. is entertaining. <laughs> yeah, this is a fucking mess. So the whole story begins with this special forces unit called Foxhound. They sent their top agent, Gray Fox, <laughs> to infiltrate a fortress, assess the situation. And kill everybody, I guess. Just as neutralize the threat. I guess murder everyone. A fortress called Outer Heaven? Yes. And then... Thank you, Dr. Scientist. And then they lose contact with Gray Fox. Foxhound does. <laughs> and they send in their I, number two guy? I guess, or yeah. Was he free now? Whatever the story is. But this guy is some scrub by the name of Solid Snake, uh, who is in an area, in a operation code name, Intrude 9313. <laughs> he's a rookie. In this yes, he's, okay. he's yeah. so basically, guy goes in, goes dark. Yeah, your boss sends you in. Send in the Big next boss guy. Sends you in. Yeah. Big boss. Yeah. These the, names. Yeah. Are so, dude, Jesus Christ. I assume it has something <laughs> to do with translation <laughs> that they kind of just stuck with. Yeah. It's like the alliteration. Right. Yep. No, that's definitely what it was because I know in Metal Gear Solid Three they go back in time, and it's like a like Bill and Ted. Exactly. In a phone booth. <laughs> in a phone booth. Yeah. Dude, that's it awesome. was weird. <laughs> no, it's it's uh, it takes place like thirty or forty years before Metal Gear Solid, mm. because in Metal Gear Solid he's already an old man. So go too far. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm getting. <laughs> I'm just so excited about the Metal Gear <laughs> franchise, guys. God. But yeah, your boss sends you in to try and save this guy who's been captured. Right. And I guess finish his job he started. 
which if would he didn't yeah. finish his job and or whatever. Gray Fox, you're talking about yes, Gray yes. Fox. Gray Fox. And yeah. then this is the first time I'm hearing this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have oh man. <laughs> it's entertaining. So I'm not gonna much. lie. Did, did any of us play these games? I didn't play Metal Gear. I have it. I played it for about mm-hmm. twenty minutes and I was done. It was actually one of the very first stealth games. Yeah. Yes. Like before that, it was all shoot 'em up, and this one was you had to like run behind it's people fun. and hide yeah, and but do stuff like it's that. It's stealthy, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it was, I mean that's what that's all about. Yeah. It's tough. Yeah. It's I mean it's not battle tone stuff, but <laughs> should we not even open that? that? <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna open that can of Fucking, worms. Oh, oh, that was like that easy game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that easy you want to see a speeder that pisses you off? Watch battle toads. Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> no. Christ. Oh, even better, watch like co-op battle toads. Oh, God. So apparently. Yeah, all right. Uh, <laughs> uh, great. They found Gray Fox's last transmission, and it had it just was Metal Gear. Dot, dot, dot. So apparently, Metal Gear was a. Let's go. Um, who the fuck's the guy from Robocop? Peter Weller? <laughs> no, not Hugh Grant. The, not the guy. <laughs> not <something. laughs> oh, no, uh, uh, the, the walking robot who couldn't handle stairs that murdered oh, everyone. Robocop? Jesus, my, yeah, I know what you're talking <laughs> Clap about. Claptrap. Oh, isn't it M something? I want to say C. C? Yeah. MC Hammer. Look it up. I'll have to look it up. But apparently there's oh, you're a... you're talking about Peter Weller. <laughs> a motorized walking mech, I guess yeah, we'll call yeah. it, that oh, yeah. could shoot nuclear weapons and kill everybody. Yeah, a... Was this the first mech in a video game? Was RoboCop out first? Probably. You guys are throwing a lot of questions. Because... I don't think it was. Yeah, I, RoboCop I, was 80s. Metal Gear is a bipedal walking tank that can shoot nukes. Yes. And the mercenary who runs Outer Heaven is developing it. Solid. And in RoboCop 2, the drug is called Nuke. That's totally oh, nonsensical. RoboCop <laughs> was 1987. It would have been maybe uh-huh. some parallel thought going on, you know? Yeah. yeah. We're going to open a lawsuit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this was back in the day when a big budget movie like RoboCop would take way longer. Not way longer than compared to now. But video game development back then was way faster than it is today. We're talking like a year max for like a big title. Right. Back then. So sure. they might have heard about this movie called RoboCop and be like, that's that's it. That's We're using that. We're stealing mm-hmm. all of that. Yeah. Allegedly. I'm just throwing ideas. It is similar. No, this is fact. Maybe they were trying to make a RoboCop game, but RoboCop didn't want it. There is a RoboCop game. Which yeah. is probably one of the best games on NES. Yeah. We can all agree. It's decent. No. <laughs> Whoa. Base Wars. He said well, one of the best. Okay. Right. Well... We're, it's well known. Base Wars is the best Nintendo. We're, game when I say the best, we're wow. talking about number two. Okay, yeah, okay. Behind <laughs> Base Wars, everybody knows it's Base Wars. Bullshit. Name a better one than Base Wars. I can't think of it right now, but I will. <laughs> Rad Gravity. Uh, it was Rad, good. It's not Rad. Rad Gravity is awesome. I could never beat it. The end got so oh, Rad Gravity. But you go in and you rescue Gray Fox, and he tells you all about Metal Gear, and then you rescue some other people. A Dr. Petrovich, who apparently has other things. And his daughter. Yeah. I don't know if they ever come back. I don't really don't care either. They're, they're in the second one, at least. And they tell you how you destroy the Metal Gear and what you have to do. And then you have to continue on doing that. And at this point in the game, I never played it, but according to the wiki, <laughs> Big Boss starts acting weird and telling you to avoid things and even breaking the fourth wall and telling you to turn the cartridge off and stop playing the game. Nice. <laughs> That's where I stopped. <laughs> hey, I must have beat it. <laughs> Locked a trophy for doing that ending. And uh, you continue working your way through Outer Heaven and eventually find out that Big Boss is the guy who, the mercenary who runs Outer Heaven and he's developing the Metal Gear so he can take over the world, I guess. And you eventually destroy the Metal Gear and beat Big Boss. But doesn't Big Boss self-destruct the whole thing? Yeah, yeah. So Big Boss is like, oh my God, what did I create? And blows it all up. I think he blows it up so you don't have it. So you don't get it. Oh, okay. It's like, I'm going to die anyway. Take yeah. everything with it. Take Solid Snake mm-hmm. out. And he manages to not take out Solid Snake. Are we too, Are we led to believe that Gray Fox has passed away during this? Yeah, I think you save him so he gets out. I think oh, he definitely shows up in the later games for yeah. sure. But I think he gets out. and I think he blows it up to try and kill you, but you escape and you assume Big Boss is dead. But it does this fucking thing. <laughs> in, in this, it, this is a common thing in the Metal Gear series. Where they'll like show you a reveal, like that big reveal, how Big Boss is the mercenary and thing, and then they act like you, they like they'll give you a second to be stunned about this amazing reveal. Meanwhile, you as a player is like, should I fucking know who these people are? Like, (laughs) I I didn't read the one 
off-shelf Japanese comic that you explain this shit in, <laughs> or who these people are. Like, they, they, it's like, oh, it's... Well, I mean, Big Boss does talk to you on the walkie in the beginning of this game, at least, anyway. And... Sure, he's the boss in the scenario, but yeah. then when they... Re- it's... When they reveal he's the mercenary. It's just the whole fucking thing. I was just... <laughs> <laughs> this fucking series... And there are definitely Metal Gear hardliners out there who are like, no, you just didn't read into it enough. Yeah. You got to read these comics over here and then no. watch the VHS that was released in Saturday morning TV <laughs> in Malaysia. And then it yeah. will totally make sense. <laughs> just right. like, fuck you. There's no way I'm doing this much work to piece this bullshit together. That should be like supplement. Like That should be <laughs> yeah. more of the world that builds to it, not necessarily fucking right. reading. I have some feelings. Well, do you want to play the game right or not? I guess. Have you seen the show on Netflix? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I would watch that. Someone's got to make sense of it. That probably would be a good one to watch on Netflix. Metal Gear card. To like, yeah. Dunk Castlevania. Style. I am 100% for anything that will make this make more sense. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one didn't seem to not make much sense when I read it. Oh, anyway. I didn't play just, it. You just wait, buddy. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just the first one. <laughs> you just wait. But uh, then... Anyway... So did anybody play this game besides me? Well, I certainly didn't I play when it, it came out. The it was first, way later. yeah, I played it back in the day, and then I kind of redid a little bit of it. Yeah, was, was it like a top, I didn't play the second one? Top down shooter or sneakers? It's like two and a half D. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like at an angle. It's really yeah, weird. like you ever play Tiger Heli? Great game. <laughs> Tiger Heli. Tiger Heli. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, but it, so it's like yeah. it's not flat straight down. It's like kind it of is an angle, like that. Yep. And you're right. it's like a Zelda, like Zelda mostly. And you have to try and avoid their gaze because if they spot you, they chase you. And you can you can sneak up behind dogs in the SNES gaming, just punch them to death. Yep. You can't pet them. No, <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's it's only up. one button. It's for pet murder, <laughs> <laughs> not for pet love. Fair enough. Yeah, they were limited with their buttons back in the day. The eighties were weird too. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a different time before PETA. You know, bread. Now you made it blue. <laughs> yeah, really. Now it's weird. Let's talk about PETA bread. Oh <laughs> no, I made it weird. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, then let's go ahead and let's move on to the final game we're going to talk about, uh, Metal Gear Two. We're just going to go roll right in through Metal Gear. It was released July twentieth, nineteen ninety. Again, only one release date. I don't know why I have that. But uh, it is talking about and discussing the economy of the late 1990s. <laughs> Apparently, these are in like the far flung future of like 1998. Yeah. Which, mm. Jesus yeah, the Christ. game was set in the future uh, 20 years ago. Most of it came true. Yeah. Yeah, oil's running out faster than the previous estimates. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. And then <laughs> trying to. Get Trying to get alternative energy sources is not working. So to counter the problem, Czech scientist Dr. Ko Marv. Kio Marv? Do you know him? Kio Marv. I just put Dr. Marv. Do you know him? Uh, he retired before I started. Uh, bioengineers of a new species of algae called Oilix. O-I-L-I-X. It's a great name, by the way. I love it. Could produce petroleum-grade hydrocarbons with little expense and effort. He unveils the algae to the World Energy Conference in Prague and was on his way to demonstrate in the U.S. when he was kidnapped by soldiers from, oh boy. Ford. Zanzibar. Zanzibar land. Zanzibar land? Zanzibar land. Uh, Zanzibar land. Yeah. Zanzibar is a real country. Isn't that in Africa? Zanzibar? I I don't think it's a real country. Zanzibar? Where the hell did I hear of it? Then. Yeah, I didn't just make up Not, those words. If it wasn't in reality. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be real. <laughs> right next to Narnia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, jeez. <laughs> oh, it is a semi-autonomous region of Tanzania. Duh. So it is a place. Not yeah. in Africa. So it is real. It's not like Narnia. Like it's a real <laughs> place <in> somewhere. <laughs> but wow. Zanzibar land is set in Africa, isn't it? No, it's set in South America, which oh, makes it? it very... We thought we didn't know maps. Oh, boy. <laughs> but uh, scientists picked me up here. What happens after that? <laughs> I don't have the energy. Well, this is apparently a big deal, so they bring Solid Snake out of retirement to go and try and save this scientist so they can, I guess, get the bacteria back and save the world's so energy problems. game two, he's already... At retired. At retired, which I guess for... Special operations and armies, like what, 40 I would have so. But he was a rookie in the first game, so I guess he had his whole career in between there. <laughs> but, he, but he was retired. When did the first game take place? I don't it know. 1600s? I don't think it ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was Castlevania. Jesus. 
They're very easy to confuse. I know, right? RoboCop nuke shooter versus... Yeah. Versus Dracula. Well, <laughs> the first Chain one was in 87, Swinger. and this one was set in the late 90s, even though it came out in 90. So it's about a 12-year career, I guess. I think 12 years for espionage is yeah. probably a pretty yeah. good run, yeah. right? That's good. Yeah. Yeah, He's no sure. Luis Guzman. <laughs> <laughs> good call. Good call. Uh, I love it. But yeah, he's sent into Zanzibar land to save Dr. Marv. And what does he do there? Does he save him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he goes through this whole thing. I, I, I didn't even On see. Christmas Eve 1990, am I reading this correctly? That's when he, No, that's when he goes to save Dr. Marv. I think I read that too, so you're probably right. Oh, Christ. <laughs> but he teams up with Holly White, a CIA operative posing as a journalist, and Gustava Hefner an STB agent and Dr. Mars bodyguard. I guess we're just supposed to assume we know what STB agent means. Steady. Time boss. Yeah, <laughs> duh. Man. I was just starting it for you. <laughs> Thanks. 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 I couldn't call it the first word. Uh, he also does reunite with Dr. Drago Petrovich. Yeah, he rescues him and then Petrovich tells him that big boss leads Zanzibar land. He survived the first game. Somehow he yeah. just blew up and self detonated and killed his whole facility. But he lived. But he's fine. He's and probably that, out of cardboard box. And then he kidnapped Petrovich to force him to make a new Metal Gear. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just we're just redoing Metal Gear. That's all we're doing. Yeah, yeah. We're redoing the story for Metal Gear, except we have a little bit of a lead in of how he reset. Yeah. That and just seems fucking lazy, right? Yeah. Like, you also find out that the new Metal Gear is piloted by Gray Fox, so he obviously survived the first game too. Oh, yeah. And he works for Big Boss now. What's, what's, it, what's, what's his motivation? Like, what? I don't get it. Why does he just like, I'm going to betray my country and all that shit? Well, he was a mercenary in the first game. I guess it's just for money. Oh, good point. Yeah. All right, he was a merc. Yeah, what other motivation is there, yeah, right, really? guys? <laughs> <laughs> That's why we do this. That's yeah. why we're so empty. <laughs> <laughs> Why we do this? <laughs> uh, but I just—it's uh, so fucking lazy. It's like, why didn't they just have a game where it's like, oh, hey, these plans, some other mercenary who no one knew about now has these plans, and they're making their own Metal Gear, just like in Contact when they had the second machine. Why build oh. more? You can build two for twice the price. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> the one that uh, the, the hidden one, the one that Jake Busey didn't blow up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Contact. Wow. <laughs> You're welcome. Wow. That's great. Another 1997 yeah. took place in the late 80s, just like this. <laughs> this could have been happening at the same time as Contact. But you, you go through, you save Dr. Marv, and well, you don't save him. You find he's dead, and he was killed by Dr. Petrovich. Cause, and then there's this long thing about Petrovich trying to get revenge on the science community. <laughs> How do you feel mm. about that, Dr. Scientist? <laughs> That's awesome. I hope he, he did. Because he was shunned <laughs> after he developed the Metal Gear in the first game. Even though he was forced to. I don't think the scientific community would give a fuck if he started developing weapons. No. Like, are there people who develop weapons that aren't allowed at science conferences? I can't imagine. You're the scientist. You tell us. Tell us what's... No, we let them out. Everybody's welcome. (laughs) Everyone's welcome at your science conferences? Yep. Except non-scientists. Let's go. Oh, except for non-scientists. Shit's weak. (laughs) (laughs) So, basically, you go through and you... Destroy the Metal Gear again. You beat Big Boss a second time, and you escape with the Oilix formula to save the world and their oil energy problems. I never played this one either, but that's what I read. Yeah, I. So Gray Fox was a bad guy. Metal Gear had been died and then resurrected, and had Big Boss died. had been died, <laughs> <and then> resurrected, <laughs> had been dead, and then resurrected, and then. Uh... Well, Metal Gear isn't a thing. It isn't a person. It's a thing. Right. So it's, it's, a, it's a feeling you have deep Metal- inside. <laughs> <laughs> the Metal Gear was with us all resurrected. along in our hearts. The Metal Gear project has been okay. resurrected. It's something right. you feel. <laughs> and, uh, I don't even know how to describe it, though. It's just... But apparently in the game, he can use like improvised weapons, like lighter and an aerosol can. Yeah, yeah. And mm-hmm. he can fashion a flamethrower. And it's also a stealth game as well. So they kind of just built There's like a gas mask you have to use yeah, to get through yeah, some of those levels. I, I did see that in Speed Yeah, Run. yep. I just don't understand why. The, I feel like they could have done more narratively that they it just... I mean, it was a Nintendo game, so they kind of did, I thought, what they could. For the, I, I like how the gameplay tried to take a chance, but how they... Just the whole thing, like, let's retread all these characters from Metal Gear 1. Those characters that everyone knows and loves. That's how sequels were made back then, yeah. though. 
Remember Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey? <laughs> yeah, but Bill and Ted came back. But you also introduced new shit like well, Death. That was a crazy movie. Yeah. <laughs> That's a, well, they did really, really strange, really right? weird. Back, and session. Really, yeah, because I actually rewatched that about a year ago. It's strange. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's great. I love it. They play board games. Against yeah. death. Yeah. What about those little creatures that were, they were, weren't they? Like, Station. Yeah. Station. Yeah. Station. Yeah. 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 That's Weird. Just, they were in the band, right? <laughs> <laughs> At the end? Because they could morph into one, and that one was Station. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, and he created the, right. the good robots at the end. So strange. It's such a weird I just man, watched it a couple so weeks ago. I saw it. <laughs> I hope the third one's like that. I know. I, I hope, hope it's so. crazy I hope it's out wild. There. Yeah. I also love Alex Winter, so. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> exactly. So, in the first Metal Gear game, uh, who is on the cover of that? Can you pull that up and look at that? Is that a solid snake? I thought it was solid snake. I thought it was solid snake. But too. look at it. And is it tell me is it Samus? Is. is it a woman? <laughs> <laughs> the doctor's a woman. It's a gender reveal. <laughs> but uh, no, because that dude on that cover clearly looks like... Uh, Dolph Lundgren? An actor... From, from possibly Terminator and Aliens. Oh, Michael Bean? Is that not Michael Bean? Look at him. Like, it looks It looks just... like Michael Bean in his, in his actual armor from that movie. That's what I'm saying. It, it looks like, like they ripped, just it, they ripped it. it from yeah. Aliens. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, someone got inspired. Hey, we need an 80s action star. Like, when did Aliens come out? They're like, uh, <laughs> well, like we <laughs> just went over this. <laughs> yeah, oh, right. uh, aliens came out in 1987. Seven? Someone probably. I think it's yeah. 87. Everything's 87 this episode. And is that Gray Fox? Or, or is that supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be Salt Snake. Salt Snake, okay. That's, he just graduated right. high school. He's a rookie. Yeah. <laughs> Went through train camp. Yeah. They, Aliens was 86. So it's very possible uh, they just pulled it it's off of that. too similar. <laughs> like, yeah, someone's like, we need, we need a drawing for this cover. It's like, I can only copy you, things. I just you saw can, this movie? <laughs> you could steal something. people's identities then and just use their faces. It didn't matter. Right. Yeah. He has yeah. green eyes on that cover. Yeah. Oh, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously not him. That was also a different time because an- Android, Android, Atari and uh, NES covers would always be some fantastical shit that had nothing to do. Yeah, with like the original game. Mega Man cover is so bad. Rock Man, yeah, <laughs> so bad. Mm-hmm. It's like he doesn't even look like that. <laughs> he has a fucking pistol or something too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, well, yeah, very strange, very strange covers. Well, at least Metal Gear 2 appears to have the mech on the front of Metal Gear. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's what it looks like. Tactical espionage game. I think they have that on Metal Gear Solid 2. Tactical espionage yeah, game. Yeah, that sounds correct. Oh, man. So, do you guys... Does this make you guys want to go out right now and buy Metal Gear Metal Gear 2 and go play them? No, I'm not a huge fan of idea. Could you hide in a box in those? <laughs> <laughs> he probably found a box. Of that. that was great. I think that came later. Huh? I don't know. But uh, the first Metal Gear was known for enemies respawning like any time you left the fucking screen where yeah. the enemy was. Okay. Oh. Uh, like you'd go into a, a truck mm-hmm. in the same frame, be in another like level, like another board inside the truck, mm-hmm. yeah. leave, and that guy's there again. Makes yeah. sense. Ha- does it? <laughs> <laughs> for Nintendo, yeah. It saves on memory, but yeah. Still, it's it's some bullshit. But uh, that does it for our five Nintendo games. Six. Six Nintendo games. I knew that. That we went <laughs> over today. Anybody have anything else they want to mention about Nintendo? Are these games we talked about? Oh, we got plenty more Nintendo games to talk about sometime later. Oh, we, there's so many. Like, <laughs> so many. My favorite, Arkanoid. Oh, wow. I love that game. Excellent. Is that the one you were trying to think of when you were talking about baby? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I don't have the controller for it, so I can't play it, but it's so good. Cool. Uh, Metal Slug was great too. Contra. I mean, there's so many. Contra. I mean, we yeah. could be here all day. Yeah. What are you guys doing after this? Contra. <laughs> Might as well keep going. Contra. All right, let's just talk about Contra. <laughs> okay. I don't know if there's a story. Could you Contra. beat that game? What I loved about Without... the Konami code, even yeah. if you used it, it was still fucking hard to beat that yeah. game. Yeah, of course. It was not a guaranteed win. No, you, only, you only had 30 lives. Yeah. Was it 30 or was it 10? I 30. 30. Still, you, it was still fucking hard to do. Exactly. I don't think I ever actually beat it. What? I no, beat it with the code. That's yeah, the only the way code. I could yeah. beat it. Yeah, code, I still don't think I finished it. Um, the uh, Life Force for Konami gave you like 99 lives, and you can't fucking beat that game. Like, it's so hard. <laughs> it's so hard. 
Um, what else did the Konami Code? I mean, there wasn't a bunch of games that I can't they, think of. The thing that pissed me off about the Konami Code the most was, you remember Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2? The arcade? Dude, I fucking, fucking remember amazing. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Look who you're talking to. Secret of the Ooze? Secret, yeah, exactly. That was the movie, not the game. I didn't know what we were talking oh, about. Oh, I'm talking about the movie. <laughs> oh, sorry. No. Uh, <laughs> Toka Razor forever. So they, they, yeah. <laughs> they switched that code around. It's not exactly the Konami Code. But me as a kid, I'm trying to put in the fucking Konami Code. But it's it's a little longer and different. Right. And you get that many lives, and you can do a stage select. It's awesome. But it's, I think that was ten lives. But you may, you had yeah, a way nine, huge nine, like yeah, you had a much huger health bar. Yeah. And it, the code was B A B A up down B A left right B A start. <laughs> Just in case anyone was wondering. Yeah. Yeah, it's not up up down down. Exactly. Oh, you know the altered one. B A B A down awesome. B A left right B A. That's fantastic. Select start you if you know. wanted to add a second player. Yeah. You so you've don't heard of forget the those. Things. <laughs> I am aware. You don't forget those. That's awesome. <laughs> and this was for Mega Drive. What? No. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I don't know. Anything else? Anything? We're gonna wrap this up. What do you guys think? I'm done. I'm good. Well, let's say that we didn't talk about Metroid or Castlevania enough, and someone wanted to tell us all about how much we suck. Where would they send that email, Doctor Chompslap? You could send it to me at plottytime at gmail.com. Chumpslap still has a 100% guaranteed response rate. <laughs> so For sure. So He has never <laughs> missed an email and never not replied to one. Uh, that's a fact. Just if, I mean, if you just want a new friend, go ahead and email that. I, see what Chumpslap's doing. He could use one. I could, yeah, I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> and let's say they want to make friends way faster and more immediate in the social media space. Where would they talk to us there, uh, Dr. Scientist? At Plotty Time at Gmail. Or no, at Plotty Time on Instagram and Twitter. Idiot. Perfect. Uh, that about does it for us. So, I don't know. I guess. Uh, Why don't you tell, have oh, Vinny, yeah. uh How about a plug? Stuff out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sure. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not used to having guests. This is our first ever I know. Guest. It's so weird. Is it, it really? Am I really? Yes, yeah. you are oh, our first wow. ever guest. So uh, I thought you would have Sean Thomas on here once or twice. Well, he's he's hard to get. He is, <laughs> he is but he, well, when you get him, <laughs> he, he is a guy. It's a whole other story. So, uh, Vinny, plug your show. Tell him all about the Retro Grab Bag Show. Sure, Retro Grab Bag Show. It's it's kind of like this, like but in like ten minute spurts. And uh, so better. Some, some <laughs> better. we we do a little bit. No, definitely more hashtags. Though. We got to <laughs> <beat> there. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, so we do some gameplay. Uh, we talk about old systems, old games, and sometimes some relevant stuff, too. But, uh, yeah, it's on YouTube. Check it out, Retro Grab Bag Show. So get on there. Like and subscribe, Retro Grab Bag Show. Check it out. It's great stuff. For, uh, for the rest of us, I guess we will see you next time. Take a cheese. You.